Hey guys, this is Callum from English Sheeting. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a little bit of a rant. Discrimination is a word that is thrown around, I think, a little bit too much. It's overused and certainly isn't used to good effect anymore. But a community that experiences quite severe discrimination is the shooting community. This has been sparked by a story that I saw on Field Sports TV about Braces of Bristol. It's a store that I have been before a few times and I actually picked up the Beretta 1301 there. Fantastic group of people, really, really friendly. I tend to bump into them at the shows as well um, and they're always great to hang out and have a chat with. Couldn't be nicer and couldn't be more helpful, certainly when you go and visit the shop. The account which is through HSBC is being closed because apparently they are high risk. Looking through all of the different aspects that could potentially make them high risk, the only thing that they can come to is, yep, you guessed it, they sell guns. I think it's the firearms, they don't, they just don't want to be associated with it. Uh, they said on the phone when they phoned me up to tell me that we were going to close the account that uh, we were deemed as high risk. And did they say anything about why this would be high risk for HSBC or the fact that you were high risk? Did they said they make a distinction? No, they didn't, no. There is no other justified reason why they would be closing their account. A perfect case of discrimination. And the reason this really strikes a nerve with me is because of my own personal experiences over the past few years and more recently. Now, obviously, I'm sure you all know, I work with Connors on Magload, I work with Alex with Gumroom TV and Blue Field Sports, and before all of that, I was running a little online shop myself through Novus. And unfortunately, I had to shut that down, not because I wanted to, but really I was left with no option. On there, I had two payment options if you wanted to buy something, through PayPal or through an online, online card provider or payment provider. And this all started with getting an email saying that I could no longer process cards through their in-built provider. And to make matters worse, Shopify, who I was using for the shop, had the audacity to then suggest that I go and use a payment provider that specialised in cam girls and porn. I'm sat there thinking, hang on a minute, you're putting us in the same box as all of those. How dare you? How dare you suggest that we are high risk? Shooting within the UK is the most regulated sport you can get into. It is the most vetted sport that you can get into. And certainly if you want to become an RFD and start up a shop, you have to have regular contact and vetting and assessment from the police. You as a person will have to be medically assessed by a medical professional, both physically and mentally, to make sure that you are fit for the role and the job and the responsibility of having an RFD. And to turn around and lump us in the same category as porn and drugs... How dare you? And it was at that point that it was made clear to me that Shopify and their payment provider was not a safe place for guns and that at any moment it could all be taken away. So I left and decided to put my energy and time into, um, I think, more positive things. Not forgetting as well that the only fallback during that time for payment was PayPal. And they have a really good track record with gun owners freezing and removing accounts with significant sums of money in there because they deal in guns. And then back on to HSBC, a company that a few years ago was caught laundering money for the Mexican drug cartel. And an article from July 2012 says that HSBC was sorry for aiding Mexican drug lords, rogue states and terrorists. So let me get this straight. They want to close the account of a well-regulated, well-known, upstanding, successful business, Braces of Bristol, because it's high risk. But they are more than happy to take the hundreds of millions, the billions of, of pounds or dollars from drug lords, 
rogue states and terrorists. Potentially, Mexican drug lords are a little bit more risky than well-regulated, well-vetted gun shops within the UK. Whilst it's obviously a successful shop, it's not dealing in the hundreds of millions or the billions that a lucrative drug lord is going to do. So they're quite happy to keep quiet and deal with these uh, high-risk business cases when there's a lot of money involved. But when it's just your little old gun shop, they want to get on their high horse and be all big and tall. If you bank personally or with a business with HSBC, leave them. If you are a shooter, you should not be supporting an organisation that quite obviously, despite logic, fact and reason, have it in for the shooting community and shooting businesses. It really does make me sick, the amount of discrimination that we, as firearm enthusiasts, experience on a day-to-day -day basis. And it all comes down to misinformation. It all comes down to personal opinions. So there we go, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and putting up with the rant. If you're new to the channel and you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. They're not all rant videos. We do some shooting on this channel, but things like this, I think, can't go uh, unnoticed and, and need to be talked about. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. And as always, I hope to see you soon.